Hey, what's cracking everybody? On today's video, I'm gonna take a look at a system called Valux OS. And Valux OS is a Debian based system with the uh, Plasma desktop environment. So you can see right here, I'm on their website and it looks like it's a German based system by the language that I see here. So uh, I'm not 100% sure if this is a uh, German or not. I mean, it could be uh, another language itself, but uh, it looks like it's German. So I'm just guessing. But anyways, let me change that to English so we can read and see what it says. All right, we can see now that it's all in English now. And it says Valix OS is a Debian based Linux operating system that builds on Ubuntu as a basic framework. Our goal is to make the transition from Windows to Linux as seamless as possible by maintaining familiar ways of working and workflowing. And there is a downloading button here. So I'll put this website down in the video description. That way, if you guys want to take a look at it, you can find out all the information that you need to right here. You can even see they have a minimum requirements right here. So if you want to pause the video and take a look at that, or if you want to just open up their website and take a look at it, you can do it also. But uh, like I said, I'll put this video, this I'll put this link down in the video description. That way you can uh, check it out yourself. But I got the ISO on the virtual machine right now. So let's go to that and get it installed. Okay, we are here on the uh, virtual machine now, and you can see that the uh, installer opens up automatically. And I believe this is the uh, Ubiquity installer. So right now, it's, uh, it says uh, you may wish to read the release notes. I'm not going to click on that. And right now, it's set to English. So I'll click on continue. And then the keyboard layout is going to be English US. Continue. And we have an option for updates and other software. So we're going to download updates while installing. And we're also going to do the third party for, you know, video drivers, graphic drivers, things like that. Then I'll click on continue. All right. The installation type. I'm going to select erase disk and install Valix OS. All right. Click on continue should be asked for a location and a uh, user info next. So here's the location. I'm in Los Angeles. That's correct. Click next or continue. And now I'll give it my user info. All right. And I gave it a strong and complicated password. That's not one, two. And for the sake of this video, I am going to log in automatically. I would not uh, suggest that for a U user. All right, so it's going through the installation now. And you can see right here on their, uh, their welcome, everything's in uh, German. So uh, we'll see once it finishes installing if the system is also in German. I set everything to English, English US, American English. So hopefully it'll be in English, but if not, then uh, we might have to change some things around so it could all be in English. All right, but I'll go ahead and pause the video now. When we come back, we'll take a look at Valix OS. Okay, the installation has completed and we have rebooted the system. And so far from what I can tell, it looks like everything is in German. Like this trash can icon up here is in German. This uh, computer icon. And right here, there's even a DE. And hovering over it just brings up a uh, German text. So I'm wondering if there's a way to change that to English. I don't know at the moment, but I am going to look into it. So I guess I will be looking for, could this be it? Uh, hmm. Let me see if I can find something that, uh, let me see if I can find this in the, maybe in the system settings. So let me click on this right here. So let's see. I got, I know this is Thunar. Discover console. I'm assuming this is going to be the uh, system settings. So let me try to type language. So let me try right here under region. 
So right now it looks like it's in Dutch. Everything's in Dutch. 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 Let's see. And let's go to American English. Activate it. All right, this says something right here. I don't know what it says, but it says something. It's like a little alert message that came up. So what does clicking on this do? Oh, I guess it's just a, a restart or a reboot. Okay, workspace behavior. It looks like everything on here now is in English, at least on this page right here. And everything I can see right here is, uh, let me go to regional settings. So language, American English. I see everything. This, these icons are still in, uh, there's still some, some Dutch or German, and this is still a DE, and this is still coming up as French. So I wonder if there's something else. Uh, display monitor, audio, multimedia, Bluetooth, printers. I've never had to change the language of a system, so this is a first for me. But what I could do is uh, open up a web browser, I guess. If there was one here, I don't even know what, what menu this is. It looks like it's going to be a... Uh... Alright, well, let me open up Discover and try to find a web browser. Hopefully it's not all in... Uh... I was going to think it was all in uh, German and I won't be able to... It says, un unable to load applications. There are no flat pack sources. All right, so I'll click on flat hub. Give it the strong and complicated password. All right, while it's doing that, maybe I can just open up a terminal and do a sudo apt install Firefox. All right, and it's installed in Firefox right now. So, so I'll minimize everything so you can see the desktop. So you can see right here, this is Valex OS. Uh, we do have a couple icons on the desktop. One is gonna be the trash icon. The other one's gonna be what we would consider, or, you know, the computer icon, but it's just Thunar. And we have the pan on the bottom. And on the pan on the bottom, we do have a system tray on the right. And then we have uh, the pinned applications right here in the center, along with our application launcher. Now the application launcher on here, uh, I'm gonna install an alternate. Let's go with the uh, application launcher. That way it'll show it better. So if I open it, yeah, you can see it's a uh, better set up this way. All right, so we have our pinned applications right here. And as you know, we have discover, we have a terminal, and then we have the Thunar file manager. Now you can see discovers right here twice because it's actually opened up. And this one right here is also the uh, system settings. So anyways, let me go back to the terminal and it looks like it finished installing Firefox. So I can go ahead and close that. And then on the far left of the panel, we do have a, uh, it says current and daily weather forecast. So I think this is some type of a weather app and it says set location and I'll go into location and I could do a, nope, not that, Los Angeles and I'll select that and that should be everything I need to do. Click on OK. Now if I come back to it, you know, it gives us our information about Los Angeles. All right. And we do have our application launcher right here in the middle. I did change the application launcher launcher because it was weird. It was, you know, it was just showing these items and it didn't have everything listed like in the categories. So you can see right here, we have our favorites. We have all applications and this lists them in alphabetical order. Then we have games, internet, multimedia, settings, system, Utilities, Lost and Found, and Help. Then you have your, uh, you know, your session buttons down here, and you have a search. All right, so what did I just install? Firefox. So I'll go back to Internet, open up Firefox, 
and hopefully everything's in English because if not then it's going to be hard to uh, surf the internet and from what I see so far everything is in English let me just make it full screen and let's go to the help and about Firefox and this is going to be version 143.0.1 and now we could go back into this right here. As far as uh, stuff, you know, I just installed Firefox. So there was no web browser at all to begin with. On the multimedia, all we have is camera. So we don't have no uh, audio or video player. And uh, I don't even see anything for uh, imaging at all. So you would have to, you know, install all the software you want. Um, Discover does work, so you know you can install stuff from Discover. So let's see. Uh, let's go paint and edit in. Let's install GIMP. All right, so it's installing GIMP right now. Now let me look for uh, VLC, VLC, and I could uh, let me see under sources. I could do Snap. I could do Flatpak, or I don't know. I'm not going to do the Valix of this. I'm just going to do the flat pack. All right. So it's going to go ahead and install that right there. Let me go back over here. So I got GIMP. I got VLC. And let's look for our office. Okay. Has them, okay. I think if I install the base, well, I'll just do the whole suite. All right. So now I'm setting up GIMP. VOC and LibreOffice. And for an image viewer, let's uh, look for an image viewer right here. So uh, let me go to all applications. Okay, Ristretto, that's an image viewer. Let's go ahead and uh, download that. All right, and you can see right here, these are our tasks. It's at uh, whatever percentage is on. And then uh, once it's all finished up, we'll take a look. But uh, I think GIMP and VLC are already done. So if we go back to the menu, go under multimedia, you can see now we have VLC. And of course, with uh, VLC, you can uh, you know play audio and video, and it'll all work. And we can look at the about real quick. It is VLC Media Player 3.0.21. All right, everything's installed now. So uh, let's go back. Let's go into the graphics. You can see we have GIMP. What version is GIMP? I'm not. I'm not sure yet. I wasn't paying attention whether it was version three or two, but it is version three. I can tell just by the way it's opening. And while it's opening, let me go ahead and open back up. And we have Office, and I can open up LibreOffice Calc. All right, so this right here is a LibreOffice Calc. It's, this will be your spreadsheet reader. This would be like Excel. And we can go to the help and about LibreOffice and version 25.8.1.1. All right, here's GIMP. We can close that. We can make this bigger. And let's take a look at the about. And GIMP 3.0.4. All right, so now just put installing these uh, these three or four apps, you know, it kind of makes your system more full. So now we have an office suite. Now we have a graphics. We even have an image viewer. So if we want to view images, you know, just navigate to your images. You can view your images. You have a media player. And we also did install the uh, web browser. So now you got basically a system like this is pretty much everything you need to get going. And then from here, you just download and play with whatever you want. All right. Well, besides this little language thing, I mean, there are a few, uh, you know, German things that are in here. But uh, it you, you can still get through it. It's not a problem to get through. You know, you can see all the all the things that are, you know, the way it's set up. Pretty much for the most part, everything is in English. There are just some things that are uh, that are in German. So let me open up Thunar real quick because uh, we didn't look at this. And this is your uh, file manager. And you can see right here, there is a lot of uh, German names right here. So this is still in German. I wonder if you can change the language through here. Let's go to preferences. Uh, let's see, display, local files, unlimited, format, 
side panel behavior. Let's go to advanced. Uh, folder permission. I don't see anything to uh, change languages or anything like that. But uh, yeah, like I said, there are some things that do have, uh, you know, some uh, languages. But I could tell this is documents and downloads is downloads. Music is music. Uh, authentic. I'm going to assume this is Office, but I could be completely wrong. And uh, you can call me out in the video and let me know. Builder, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is probably be a, well, I'm not even going to guess. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm pretty sure it's going to be for images, though, because it looks like images. Obviously, video is video. Uh, Vorlagen, I don't know what that is. And we all know what Snap is. But these two right here, I am confused as to what they are. This looks like an image, the image folder, so, but you know, I could be wrong also. All right. And of course, you know, if you want to see the hidden files under the right click, there is nothing there. So you would have to do control H on your keyboard. And that would be your hidden files. Control H to get back out of them. All right. And this is your file manager. All right. Well, for all it's worth, you know, it's a good system. It's very snappy. Everything works well. Like I said, other than a few uh, language barriers, if you guys know how to switch up the languages, right, like on a plasma system like this, please let me know in the comments. School me on it. Because like I said, I do these videos when I do these first looks. It's like from the view of a new user. And that's exactly what I am. So, you know, this way we can all learn what to do when we come across something like this and we install it and, you know, just make it, make it easier for everybody. I, I get a lot of comments where everyone wants me to uh, study something for a long time. And I keep saying that my purpose of looking at these videos is to do it from a new user perspective. That way you get that feeling as if you're a new user and you install something like this, this is, this is exactly what you're going to run through into. You know what I mean? If I come through as, a, as an expert on it, then I'm not teaching you nothing. I'm just doing things that because I would do it, I guess, muscle memory or whatever. But you get you get the point that, that I'm trying to make. I do these videos to look at them from a new user perspective. That way, if you're a new user and you watch this video, you know what to expect and you know what you're going to get into. All right. Just being honest here. And uh, hey. It is what it is. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, by all means, give it a thumbs down. Uh, I will edit out a lot of that me looking for how to change the language and all that because it's going to take up a lot of time. And I try to make my videos, you know, between the 10 and 15 minute range, you know, just to keep it simple. But hey, it is what it is. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video, and I'm out.